Any questions? Director Hancock. I would like to know a little bit more about M1. Mr. Moore, why would we trade property for a sculpture? Oh, Dr Mr. Carpenter, maybe you are the trader. <laughs> Director Adcock, um, um, this got added today. The, there's a board communication that, that goes into this. The city only owns the land underneath the parking deck at 7th and Scott, mm -hmm. and Metro Center owns the deck. You may remember that there was a chance or an attempt to, uh, or we, the city was asked a few years ago simply to, give that away and, and the answer to that was that we thought that we should get something reasonable in return at the time that the pit city put money into the deck the amount we put in was five hundred thousand dollars and i think the total amount was six hundred and fifty thousand dollars the sculpture in question at the time that it was purchased was purchased for one hundred eighty five thousand dollars the artist who is well known is now dead which evidently makes everything that he did worth that much more so uh, for a deck that we don't know that we're going to be able to have any real control over ever, we're getting control over a world-renowned sculpture that uh, has significant value and will be able to be a centerpiece not only uh, uh, in MacArthur Park initially, but is guaranteed to always be within the city of Little Rock. So it was seen as a, a good um, trade. Does it keep the... Uh Metro Center Improvement District from selling the property? No. There's no restrictions on, once we trade for the sculpture, there's no restrictions on the property. That, that's right. I mean, they, they already own the deck, and they would own the underlying land. Okay. The, the, um, to further add to this, the the sculpture now is extraordinarily valuable. It's probably in excess of $3 million in terms of its value. And the ability to have it showcased uh, with the um, renovation or the, the expansion of the uh, art center, which we all had a chance to have a, a view of, is, is a really great opportunity, uh, number one. And do we uh, number two is that the downtown partnership manages the deck. And uh, ultimately, that improvement district will probably go into uh, extinction upon the payment, the ultimate repayment of the bonds. And at that point in time, uh, the understanding from those at the Metro Center Improvement District is, is that they will deed that deck back over as a city asset to the city, uh, uh, for which then we would probably continue to contract with the downtown partnership to manage it. Would there be, do we, do we maintain ownership of it while the art center has it? Yeah, they are. So it will always be in the name of the city, and it can't leave the city without this board's approval. Okay, thank you. 